Hey, I, uh, I don't know. I was looking for something in the podcast world. So, um, I went over to Podcastle. I downloaded their first episode, their not first episode, their latest episode, which is, uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Damn, is this real or whatever, but it's a time travel, sort of a time travel story. It's a story about a world where, uh, suddenly people are getting text messages from future selves, which is sort of an odd thing for a fantasy book fantasy podcast because it's not really a fantasy i mean i guess as much as time travel and sending messages through time is a uh fant is is a is a fantasy conceit as much as it is a science fiction conceit um and it seems to be kind of you know there's no scratching scratching wins anymore because people know if they're, they would know if they're going to win or not um and there's a psychologist who doesn't have a cell phone because they're a chrono purist. Um, but it's one of these kind of curiously detached stories in a way. Um, the character does say at the beginning, it's like, you know, it, it hasn't told me like, you know, the most crucial thing of like, you know, am I going to die alone or whatever? Am I going to ever be a you know thing? And at the end of the story, her friend says, Oh, I, I, I broken up with some, someone and, uh, but you know what? I want to, I want to be with you. I love you. And, uh, he immediately gets a text message from his past, his future self, who he thought had, had just had died, must've died. Um, uh, saying good, good for you. Good for not being kind of, uh, a, a being, being a, uh, whatchamacallit, a being, you know, a wussy. Uh, and, um, that's the end. That's the happy, happy ending of the story of their, they're going to live their lives now. Uh, except they got these stupid text messages. I don't know. I did not find the story all that engaging. <laughs> I just wanted to record that there. It was a little story. It was a little story that I think I listened to. I don't know if I'm going to particularly take much from, you know, there's thing about you should get that mole checked out on your arm. So there's no mole on my arm. Well, I better make an appointment because, you know, my future self probably knows. So, and the person who takes the call says, yeah, yeah, I keep on getting the messages about, you know, syphilis and gonorrhea. I think it's my future self might be trying to tell me that my boyfriend is cheating on me. It's like, well, okay. You know, that's a little awkward to tell total stranger, but fine. Um, and I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's one of these stories that just like, it's an, it's an interesting concept, but I didn't really feel particularly any emotional connection there, even though it kind of tried to slip in the emotional connection at the end. Um, you know, I'm sure it's trying to be metaphorical, but it's maybe just all metaphor and no a feeling of something I'm feeling grounded about. I immediately stopped the podcast once the story came to an end because I find that a lot of at least Podcastle and the other ones have a tendency to then afterwards say, well, you know, the thing that I find interesting about the story is that it, it's a commentary on how we should need to live our lives or, you know, it's going to do something like that, which is just like, fuck you. I want to read. If I, if I listen to a story, I want to then think about a story and come up to my own ideas of what it's about. And I don't want somebody to to tell me what they think it's about. It's almost like you're sort of in the author position there and the author shouldn't at the end of war and peace say, well, you know, my story, it's not really about war. It's about zucchinis and the importance of zucchinis. It's like, you don't need to, if, if that's indeed what war and peace is about, you do not need to tell me about that at the end, a little footnote at the end telling me what the interpretation of the story should be. I don't know if the, that's what Podcastle was about to do. I stopped and I deleted the episode before that would happen. Uh, yeah. So that was a long rant about a story that, yeah, didn't particularly touch me. Um, at least listening to it. I mean, this is the other thing. It's a short, short story like 20 minutes long and I listen to it in audio. So maybe it's not the best way to take everything in and to ponder, ponder stuff. But, um, 
I don't I didn't find the, I don't know if I particularly got a great sense of who the character is. Mm, mm, yeah. And I can't even remember the name of the story because it was one of these man is this you is you got the, can you believe this is real? Something like that. Um not a great titled story, I think. <laughs> because I can't remember it. All right. I'm going to leave it there. This was really a waste of time. (laughs) Good night.